Welcome to River Channel News. I'm Rebecca Mariscal with the Star Observer. The Hudson mayor candidates will meet again Thursday, March 19th at a community forum hosted by the Hudson Area Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Bureau. Current Mayor Rich O'Connor is up for re-election against Council President Joyce Hall. The forum will begin at 6.30 p.m. at the Phipps Center for the Arts. The Hudson Common Council has approved free parking in the Beach House lot for the event. Election day is Tuesday, April 7th. The Hudson Community Pickleball Association racked up a win in February. The council approved Grandview Park as a site for a permanent pickleball facility. Association members will now raise funds to build eight courts on the north side of the park. An additional four courts may be added in the future. Free parking will return to downtown Hudson amid concerns with the new system. The council approved free four-hour parking in both the Beach House lot and the Williams lot located behind the old fire station. Free four-hour parking will also be available at the angled parking spaces on 1st Street, north of Vine Street. Other changes include an increase to ticket prices, as well as new signage and fewer zones. Hudson Hospital welcomed a Leap Day baby on February 29th. Baby Abe was the only Leap Day baby born at the hospital this year. He arrived at 3.01 a.m., weighing 6 pounds, 10 ounces, and measuring 19.5 inches long. Mom McKenzie said she didn't want him to be born on leap day, but Abe had made up his mind. Hudson and North Hudson will see some traffic disruption in 2021 with the construction work on Highway 35. The project will run from Front Road in Hudson up to North End Road in North Hudson. Project work includes street reconstruction and repair, as well as curb improvements and underground utility work. Traffic will be able to continue from Front Road to Vine Street, but the road will be closed north of Vine Street. A detour will take drivers through Minnesota on Highway 95. Local traffic will be able to cross the Lake Malalu Bridge with temporary signals controlling one lane of traffic. The project will be done in segments. Parking in downtown Hudson will be impacted for about three to four weeks, the project lead said. The Wisconsin DOT held its third public involvement meeting for the project on February 26. Final plans will be done in May of this year. Construction will begin in the spring of 2021. For River Channel News, I'm Rebecca Mariscal.